Hi everyone, welcome back. I, today I'm just going to do a very quick video of how I fold my nappies. Suzanne from Suzanne's Babies asked if I could show, show, she, show her how I do it. And I'm sure she'll remember as soon as I've done it. So the first one, of course, I don't really need to show you. It's just like, you know, a standard triangle. Very simple. Just a little triangle. Only needs one nappy pin, this one. Very cute, though. So there's that one. And then there's the one that I use, and I've used on the twins, is the, um, the kite method, which is really very basic and simple. And Suzanne will go, oh, yes, I remember as soon as she sees it, I know, because it's very simple. So you just make a kite pattern, kite shape, I beg your pardon, like so. Fold the top over. Fold this little bit up as far as you need to, depending on the size of the baby or doll. And that's it. That's all you do. That's a two-pin one. Needs two pins. And that's very simple, that cartridge method. That's lovely. On the twins, I've actually used normal size nappies that have been cut down and um, cut, made smaller and, and hemmed so they fit them because, of course, they're very little babies, those two. So now this next one, you probably don't need at all, but it's fun to, to show you anyway. It's um, a bit complicated, and it's the one I used to use when my real babies were um, going to sleep in the night and needed a bit more thickness. In fact, I actually think my husband and I used to do it with double, two nappies. For goodness knows how, I can't remember that complicated thing. Anyway, this is how you do it. So first in half long ways. Let me pull it down a bit so you can see better. There we go, half long ways, and then half again to make a square. And then you take the top, just a single layer, the top corner of that um, piece, just the one piece, and pull it across. Whoops, that's not right. Pull it across like this, so that you get a triangle formed like so. That's a bit messy. There we go. There's the triangle. And then you just pick up the whole thing, flip it upside down. Hope you can still see that. And then um, you fold this thick part that isn't involved in the triangle into thirds like that. So you've got this big thick wad down the middle. And then all you do is, this is another one pin method, like that. And there's a little nappy. Uh, you probably don't need that for the dolls, but that's quite handy for real babies. Um, yeah, so that's about it. That's all, all I do. Um, so I think um, I'll say goodbye now, but just let you know that next time I'll bring Rosie on and show her to you, and I hope you like her. She's a gorgeous little thing. So I'll do that next time. But today, I've been out all day. It's virtually the end of the day. I'm losing light, so I thought, why not just quickly get this nappy video out for you to see. So thank you very much for dropping in. You're in my bedroom at the moment. Um, I used coloured nappies so that you could see them against this um, doona cover. So anyway, thanks for coming over to my house and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.